Hey guys, and welcome back to another Discord rewrite tutorial. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be talking about kind of logging things. So if you're a server administrator or um, what do you call it, you own your own Discord server, you're probably interested in logging some kind of information. Say you have moderators, um, you want to log like if they're deleting messages or anything like that. Maybe you just care about like server health, so you want to see how many messages are sent, um, how many people join a day. Um, that's something I'm interested in. So what I'm actually going to be doing in this video is just logging every minute how many messages are sent and how many people join the server. Obviously, this is a bit extreme. I probably don't need to be updating a log every minute, considering the size of my Discord server is like 150 people. So I'm not going to have um, crazy amounts of messages and amount of people joining, but I figured I'd just show you how to do this. And then you can kind of play around with the timing and it'll give you a sense of what exactly to do. Now, off for my actual Discord bot, I have it so it logs to a database, um, and the database is like in the cloud, right? I use MongoDB to do that. If you guys want to learn how to do this with a database, let me know, and I'd be happy to do a MongoDB tutorial. Um, it's pretty easy. I don't even think I would need to show you how to implement it with Discord because if I just show you how to use MongoDB, like it's one of the easiest ones. It's easier than, uh, uh, what do you call it, MySQL, like all that stuff. Um, so let me know, and I'm happy to do that, but I need some kind of feedback. Otherwise, I'm not just going to create that tutorial. Uh, so anyways, let's get started. So I've already imported time and async IO. Essentially, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a background task that's going to run every 60 seconds. Now that background task is going to be, uh, I'm actually going to create the function for it now. So essentially async, and then we're just going to define and we'll just say uh, update underscore stats okay what this is going to do is it's just going to write something into uh, a text file for me so i have a text file stats here you can see i was already messing with it i didn't get it quite working yet but i figured i'd just do it in the tutorial um and it's just going to write like how many messages are sent every so many seconds so i want to do this per minute when i if i actually use it but that's kind of a long time to wait to see here so i'll probably just do it every like five seconds for the purpose of the example but essentially what i'm going to do in here is i'm just going to type a few things and we'll talk about what they do after so i'm going to await uh client dot wait until ready and this is just going to wait until we actually end up calling this function before it runs because these async functions they kind of work a bit differently than regular functions in here i'm also going to global two things that i haven't yet created and that's going to be uh messages and what do you call it use joined let's call it joined okay so that means what i'm going to do is i'm going to go up here and i'm going to say messages joined um we'll replace this comma with an equal sign and we'll just say equals zero and we'll just declare those up here to start now what i'm going to do in here on member join is i'm going to add one to joined so every time that someone joins we'll just add one to that so that's easy enough when they join plus equals one because obviously this represents when someone new joins and for messages well you can probably assume what we're going to do here we will just add one to messages and we're just making it global, right? So that we can actually change this variable and we don't get any issues. Okay, so that's actually all we need to mess with for these other functions and this won't take us too long. So for update stats, just I've created the stats file. If you guys don't know how to do that, right click on your folder, click new file, um, name it stats.txt or whatever you want to name it essentially. And just make sure it's in the same directory as your file. When I say directory, I just mean folder. So whatever this is, if you open up like your um, Explorer and you go, I don't know, let's go to Discord, right? Just make sure that it is in, the, you can see both files, okay? Just in case anybody's confused by that. It's because otherwise it's not going to work uh, if you don't know how to properly like path to it, okay? Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm just going to say while client dot uh, closed, okay? And we'll do dot is closed, but I think we have to do it. Uh, not while well, not client dot is closed. So it essentially means while the bot is running, we're going to continue to do what's in here. So when I what I'm going to do now is we're kind of going back and forth here, but I'm going to create a new task. And this is the way that you have to do it whenever you want to if you want to run multiple background tasks, you just repeat what I'm going to do with like different functions and different creating tasks. So to do this, we're going to do client dot loop dot create underscore task and then here we're just going to put our name which was what update stats like that so this is now going to say well we want to run this function in the background so we're going to create it as a new task and then inside this function since it's, it's async we're going to define how long until we uh how long we want to wait until we rerun it okay so we'll have while not client dot is closed then what we're going to do is we're going to try something and we're going to accept uh exception as e we'll print this exception to the screen 
And now what we're going to do is we'll actually get to the code. So essentially what I'm going to do is I just want to update this stats.txt file. So to do this, all I'm going to do is I'm going to say with uh, open and we'll just say stats dot txt we're going to open this in append mode so we're appending to the end of it each time we'll open it as the file name f and what we'll do is we'll just do f dot write and in here we can write what well we want to write so in this case i'll do an f string again and i'm just going to write the time the amount of messages and then the members that joined in that time so to do the time right i'll just do time and then i'm going to do time dot time but i'm going to round this to an integer okay just because I don't want to get those uh, those decimal values that come with time if you know how this works and you'll see that when we print it out anyways so time we'll do messages and then here we'll just print messages and then same thing here we will do what was it joined we'll do members joined like this and same thing and we'll just do joined now we just have to remember to add this backslash n here and can you see this uh oh i didn't even add the backslash backslash n if you're in pycharm it should be highlighting orange but essentially this just means that um we're gonna like go to the next line after we write this because when you actually uh have text files you can't read them like you don't see this symbol but what actually happens is it looks like this like hello slash n tim slash n like it's just one line and the way that it prints it out to us as um like humans is it you it when it ever sees one of these lines it goes down one line so you just need to add these backslash ends into your uh, text file so we're going to do that at the end of this line so that we make sure we go to the next one so when we're writing the next line and then what we're going to do is we're going to reset our variables so we're going to say messages equals zero and joined equals zero because we've already updated this for that uh, for whatever this minute this time frame so now we need to set kind of that delay so to set the delay, remember I imported async IO up here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to await async dot IO dot sleep. And in here, I'll put the time. I'm going to do five seconds right now, but I would recommend you do like a minute, two minutes, something like that. We're going to copy this and we'll do it here. Now, essentially we're, what we're doing, right, is we created this task that's going to run in a loop and it knows it's running in a loop because we did that. We have the loop here um, that's just going to keep going until eventually our bot disconnects. We're just going to keep trying to open the stats file. Um, and then if we do, when we update that file, we're going to do it every five seconds. So then we're going to wait this async.sleep for five seconds. And then we'll run this, run through this while loop again. And we'll just keep going, keep going, keep going until eventually our client is closed. I think um, that should make sense to you guys how that works. So assuming I didn't make any mistakes, let's run this. Let's go to Discord. Um, let's just go. I guess you can see I was trying to do stuff in here earlier. We'll do a hello, hi, uh, bye. I'll just keep typing a bunch of letters to see if we can get kind of uh, some decent numbers in our file. And let's see if this is actually working. So, stats, awesome. So, this is working great. So, we've seen we had at this time, and I know these times don't mean anything to you, but you can kind of actually figure out what they are based on all these numbers. Uh, we had zero messages, then we had two, then we had five. If I go back, now you can see that's updating again, zero, zero. Um, and it'll just continue doing this until eventually we stop the bot. So if I stop like this, then obviously this should stop going. Um, and I guess wait, one, two, three, four, five. And you can see that we've stopped writing any messages. Now, just to show you, if I run the bot again, and I go here, and we type some more and we type and we type and we type um, then we come back here and you can see that now it's updated with one and if we go back again in whatever many seconds you see it's one again so that is essentially how this works and it'll log that for you and you can do this um, like you could write another log so say you wanted to do it for like you wanted to keep track of every message for each user so I want to keep track of in my server how many people send or what person sends like the most amount of messages um, and like how many messages on average per day or whatnot then you could just add um like days recorded in here like you could add a bunch of stuff but i'll give you a quick idea of how you could keep track of every user's messages what i would do if i were you is i would use pandas first of all as a data frame if you know how to use that but i'd create a dictionary um for like temporary storage and i would do the usernames like tim um hashtag 9298 and i do colon and then the amount of what do you call it? Messages they've sent. So in this case, one. Now, what I would do, sorry, I'm going to explain this a bit better, is I would check this dictionary 
every time a user sent a message and I would see if that message.author, right? I think we did this at some point. Um, member.mention, yeah, message.author. I would see if the message.author, if that's in the dictionary, if that key exists. Now, if it does exist, I'd grab this key value and I just update this to be plus one. So for example, if Tim existed and he sent a message, I would make it two, three, keep going up, right? Now, if the key didn't exist, I would add the, a new key into the dictionary with that username. So let's say uh, Bob hashtag 1234 sent a message, but he didn't exist in here. I would just add one and I'd add this into the dictionary. And then every time I updated my like user file, what I would do is I'd look through the user file. So like say stats here, it's getting long now. I would look for the username. If the username existed, I would just update that line to be the new amount of messages like I'd add to the amount of messages if the user didn't exist already in the frame then I would just add it in with whatever the amount of messages were in this dictionary then I clear this dictionary and just continue going uh, like we're kind of doing similar here with messages and joined anyways this has been it for kind of logging I figured I'd show you this just because it's pretty useful on how to do that in the next video I think I'm going to go into some voice chat stuff because that's pretty interesting playing some music playing some sounds um, and then let me know what you guys want to see. You want to see database stuff? Um, just, just let me know and I'm happy to do anything like that. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you again in the next one.